the song story. Reading, singing, laughing, learning, growing. Song story. Check it out. Hey friends, today's story is called We Don't Lose Our Class Goldfish by Ryan T. Higgins. Penelope Rex was seven feet tall and covered in scales. Other than that, she was just like every other kid. And just like other kids, Penelope had lots of feelings. Some things made her feel sad, some things made her feel happy, and some things made her feel afraid. For example, she was afraid of what might happen to her mother's back if she stepped on a crack. She was afraid William Amato might be right about dinosaurs being extinct. But Penelope's biggest fear of all was... Walter. Walter never blinked. Walter never talked. Probably because he was a goldfish. And one time, he bit Penelope's finger. No matter which classroom supply Penelope needed, it always seemed to be right next to Walter's bowl. Scary Things About Walter by Penelope. Menacing fins, unblinky eyes, hungry belly, bitey teeth. Then one afternoon, Mrs. Noodleman announced, we are all going to take turns bringing Walter home for the weekend. Mabel, you'll go first. Well, Penelope couldn't take Walter home. What if he tried to nibble her again? Or turn her into dino nuggets while she was sleeping? The weekends swam by. One by one, her classmates took Walter home. I took Walter to Jurassic Burgers. Walter and I played hide and seek. I tried to pet Walter. When the big day arrived, Penelope couldn't pay attention in school. She spilled her juice. She accidentally chewed her pencil and her notebook and her desk. All she could think about was Walter. When the school day ended, there was no escaping her weekend with Walter. Penelope tried to do her usual things. When that didn't work, she tried to keep Walter distracted. Distracted goldfish are less bitey. It wasn't going well. And now for tonight's feature presentation, Attack of the Killer Goldfish. Then it was time for bed. Good night, Walter. Click. Walter? What was that? Walter? Is that you? <coughs> Penelope decided Walter might enjoy sleeping in the kitchen. In the morning, Penelope bravely went to feed Walter his breakfast, but all she found was... A banana lamp. Crash! The banana lamp was broken, but at least it wasn't Walter. Wait, Walter, Walter was missing. What would her classmates say? Walter? He was her responsibility. Walter? She had to find him. Walter! She looked high, Walter. She looked low, Walter. She checked the neighbor's fish pond. There you are, Walter. But <gasps> you're not Walter or you or you. You're not even a fish. 
None of you are Walter, and you're a hamster. Walter! Penelope had to face the facts. Walter was gone. Walter with his thoughtful eyes and graceful fins. His teeth that he didn't even use for biting all that often. Besides, who hasn't wanted to eat a classmate every now and then? Maybe Walter wasn't so scary. Maybe Penelope even missed him. Things about Walter by Penelope. Graceful fins, thoughtful eyes, jolly belly, bitey teeth that don't bite often. Then Penelope noticed something, something fishy. Walter! Oh, there's my old banana lamp, said Daddy Rex. I was going to bring it to the donation center, but I see you had other plans for it. Walter said nothing. He was a goldfish. For the rest of the weekend, Penelope managed to have some fun taking care of Walter. Good morning, Walter. She was proud of herself and ready to face some of her other fears too, especially the one about stepping on a crack. Penelope tried it and her mom was fine. Penelope's parents were proud too. You did a great job taking care of Walter. We've decided you are responsible enough to have a pet of your very own. Ugh. 